Okay, quick one on the customer's JB76 uh, repaired. Uh, customer sent me pit pictures of this and he had done some work on it, replaced some tubes and other stuff and uh, tried to get it going and everything, it was keying up, had no output and the input wasn't changing on the um, input SWR when he changed the tuner in the back and uh, he sent me the head only and I hooked up my uh, whole power supply to it and checked the voltages coming um, at the tubes and in the head and everything was good checked the relay, checked the resistors, checked the chokes, everything seemed good and then I fired it up and it was just like he said uh, no output wasn't pulling any current, tubes not getting hot even though it had all the voltages to plate the screen uh, the bias was correct, everything looked good but it looked like the uh, uh, amp was getting no drive or the tubes were not getting any drive again the input SWR wasn't changing and uh, tubes not pulling any current so I figured it's either missing you know too much bias or no drive so bias check good so we went back to that input tuner and it looked okay except when we finally got underneath it it's easy to see now but it's always easy once you find it I'm gonna zoom in because this thing is live and if I can get under it right yeah uh uh too much zoom come on where'd you go alright right there in the center of the um, picture where the two wires connect that was open broken wire right there that goes to the ground of the uh, input tuner input side to ground your RF code comes in and then it's grounded that's where that wire there goes to looks like it's trying to focus and that was broken off um, hard to see um, you know I've got it zoomed in it's probably times you know uh, five right now and you can see it um, so I'm gonna redo that um, but I just uh, put a little solder on there and soldered that together and that's the only thing I did to it and after I did that on the input tuner see that's the regular uh, picture without being zoomed in so after I um, did that let's try it again that watt meters the input watts on peak that watt meters the output watts on peak that's on the 20 watt scale going in 200 watt scale going out all right so with a couple watts in the audio audio swinging to about eight peak all that mud duck radio is doing and over here 200 watt scale audio audio on a dummy load no false watts audio audio about a little over 150 dead kin 15 audio 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 just keying it down because it's a customer it's just showing the things working nothing's overheated um, again this is my power supply though um, he just sent the uh, the head unit only the meter the uh, adjusting pot is uh, bad and that's why the meter isn't um, reading as it should and other than that everything's working in the thing um, audio audio working as it should just connecting that one wire that was underneath that you couldn't see um, I'm gonna unkey and key the relay a few times to show that um, Black Cat does not have a AM SSB switch um, in most CB amps the AM SSB just um, puts a delay on the relay keying up so Black Cat went in between they went uh, with uh, uh, a cap that's a little bit too slow for fast AM key and a little bit too quick for uh, SSB delay they kind of went in between the AM and SSB so you know key up the relay 
trying to get my big hand in there so you can see when I unkey. See that delay when I unkey? That's that SSB delay right there. A little slow for AM. A little fast for SSB. It's about half a second delay. For SSB delay, you want about a second and a half. And for AM, you want about no delay, actually. You want it to key up and go right away. See, I'm unkeying and keying, and the delay is just holding it in there. For AM, you want that thing to click in and out, you know, just as fast as you key and unkey. But about half a second. So that's the compromise that Black Hat did. Uh, why they do that? A, cost. You know, they don't have to put in another switch for AM, SSB, and... Um, um, they put in a small cap for the delay and you know they probably saved a, a dollar you know putting this thing together well if you you figure the um, manufacturing cost too but a dollar in parts so anyway that's going to be it for this uh, black cat uh, JB76 customers uh, about 7 watts peak in about 150 out not hitting it hard again that's my power supply though I probably got it biased down a little bit so that's why the thing's swinging a lot because um, again my power supply probably a little bit higher biased than normal so the dead keys a little bit lower and then um, I got some um, heavy duty caps in there audio to try to keep the voltage up more than normal and as you see everything is working the way it's supposed to except the meter that needs a pot I'll probably let the customer deal with that since he likes to play with it be careful uh, don't do what I'm doing with the top off if you don't know what you're doing it's got about 800 volts in there and a, as a kid a JB um, 150 that I was playing with that I didn't know what I was doing when I was about 12 almost killed me because I had my finger close but not touching and it arced and that's when I was introduced to Mr. Arc and darn near killed me anyway that's gonna be it for this one bye